بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد شہباز اینڈ ٹوڈے از وی لاگ از اباؤٹ بال فور ڈیکلیریشن اینڈ ون آف اکی اسٹون ان دس ہول کانفلکٹ آف اسرائیل اینڈ پیلسٹائن دا بال فور ڈیکلیریشن ڈیٹس بیک ٹو نائنٹین سیونٹین ود Uh, his words uh, to the Jewish community uh, to, I mean, make a national homeland uh, for the Jewish community in the Palestine. And right after uh, the declaration, uh, the British forces, they took over uh, the land and uh, it was on the uh, disposal of uh, the British uh, Raj or the British colonial power at that time. Uh, to decide the future of uh, the territory. The, the, uh, the declaration itself uh, uh, says that uh, it should be uh, protecting the rights of uh, the Jews and the motivation for the homeland should be uh, protected under the colonial uh, power and its uh, watch. So <coughs> basically uh, when Arthur Balfour himself was the Prime Minister uh, of UK of uh, Britain in 1905. He gave some anti-Semitic uh, remarks and he was involved in uh, making a law uh, known as the Alien Act uh, to prevent the further immigration of uh, the Jews into their homeland. Uh, the history of uh, this whole uh, declaration itself is shady uh, where they were uh, kind of uh, reluctant to provide a space in the homeland uh, but they divided a land uh, of uh, uh, people who were living uh, in in that land for centuries and gave a land of the people not the without people of the people uh, to uh, nation who was homeless. It started uh, with Napoleon Bonaparte's um, invasion of uh, uh, this whole region, uh, the city of Acre, which is right now in um, Israel. Uh, he failed, uh, but that movement uh, got strengthened and it got power. Uh, but the actual concrete Uh, kind of uh, uh, form which it received was uh, during the colonial uh, invasion of the land when uh, this uh, whole uh, you can see uh, the Ottoman uh, the fall of the Ottoman Empire and after that for two years uh, it was the Egyptian uh, governor Muhammad Ali who was ruling it and he uh, was sent a letter that he should open the gates for the Jewish community to, to settle in this uh, piece of land. The conflict itself is uh, ethnic, uh, which can be divided into uh, different motivations. Uh, the prominent one is the ethnic, ethnicity based on the uh, ethnic identity, uh, considering uh, their connection to the land. And the second one is the religious kind of uh, motivation, uh, which both of the sides, the Jewish and the uh, Muslim Arab side, they present. Uh, the conflict itself uh, is a blowback to the humanitarian uh, kind of uh, institutions such as the United Nations and others who are mm, wooing about uh, their humanitarian assistance to the world and peacekeeping and peace promoting and the democracy promoting uh, institutions. They have failed in this whole uh, conflict. A recent video of uh, people who were walking uh, through the uh, path in Palestine, they were bombed and a few, which, uh, a few of them who could save their life, they were uh, again bombed uh, by some aircrafts of uh, Israel. So this whole situation is getting worse and the Muslim uh, states around uh, Palestine and throughout the globe, 
they are not understanding it uh, that this is uh, not a, a kind of individualistic uh, matter uh, it is a matter of the cognition that either you are with us or against us uh, most of the muslim countries they are uh, dealing with their sectarian issues and uh, which is uh, named as a kind of uh, uh, the Shia Sunni conflict, most of the countries like Pakistan and Egypt and Yemen and uh, Iran, Iraq, they are dealing with this situation. It is a divide and rule strategy adopted to keep them, uh, I mean, busy with their own internal conflicts, not to see the external uh, threat being posed to their ho whole uh, kind of um, um, uh, society or the whole uh, nation as Muslim nation. I think this motivation uh, should uh, be uh, the primary one uh, to protect other Muslims throughout the globe uh, despite their sectarian differences. I think uh, Muslims should unite and give a response, a blowback uh, to protect uh, the people of the Palestine, especially uh, Muslims and the Christians who are being targeted by airstrike in Palestine and especially in the Gaza Strip. That's uh, for now, but I'll make a complete vlog uh, uh, considering this whole issue because right now I'm stuck with a research paper on this and I'll get back to you uh, after uh, getting some literature on this. Thank you.